Hey, hey, hey. What's up, man? You remember a couple of years ago when like Popeyes introduced a uh, chicken sandwich and everyone was having this debate if like Popeyes had the better chicken sandwich or if Chick-fil-A had the better chicken sandwich? This has nothing to do with trivia, by the way. I'm just really hungry. Sorry. I'm hungry too, but the fucking problem is I live in Central America and we don't have chicken fillet. So the few times I went to United States and I ate that kind of spoiled it for me. I can't eat Popeyes now. When this is close, it's fine. But other than that, I, I, I don't know. I want my chicken fillet. When the hell are they going to come here with the racist chicken? It's delicious. It's racist, but it's delicious. I don't know, man. Okay, let's go. Ethan. Can you believe that those two guys had the the nerve, the sheer gall to mention the chicken place that shall not be named during Pride Month? My God, why would they do that, Ethan? I'm so glad you're here. You always say the funniest things. Uh, very, very topical, very legit, and uh, I appreciate you. And I appreciate you being here and supporting me as I go off uh, once more into the fray of the trivia spectrum that is full metal trivia. What? Yeah. You too, big guy. You too. What do you say? Should we go win this one for our team? For everyone? For for the sake of all that is good and unholy in this world? You're right, Ethan. By the way, your shirt looks great i have no idea what's going on right now jacoby <laughs> that was that was crazy those were crazy on both sides <laughs> yeah um, i maybe forgot to tell them we're here for a trivia match but we are uh by the way hello welcome to full metal trivia uh yet another match in the singles division uh you know me i'm brian i'm i don't even work for full metal somehow i ended up being here a lot because kirk needs help i guess um but i don't you weren't supposed to be here today i wasn't supposed to be here today but since i did have to be here today I dragged in a huge internet celebrity, and his name is Jacoby Bancroft. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Good. Doing great. Happy to be here toasting. Um, it's going to be a good match. I'm so excited to see both of these guys play. I like both of these guys. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. If, if nothing else, it will be a lot of fun. Uh, hopefully, one of them will score at least one point, and we will have a winner. Fingers crossed, or else we can just do this forever. I guess that's fine. We could. Why not? We'll totally run out of questions, and then we'll just you know end the video. <laughs> a little anticlimactic, but... All right, but with that, let's go ahead and introduce our competitors. Coming into the virtual ring first uh, is Mark the Maniac Kamar. And his opponent, you know him as Mr. DVD. He is Nazario Montenegro. I forgot the racist chicken was also homophobic. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, this episode brought to you by Chick-fil-A, by the way. Uh, <laughs> well, we just lost our sponsor. Yeah! Uh, You've made um, Ethan so you mad. You know the okay. rules, but I'm going to give you the short version anyway. Round one, you get eight questions to make categories. You have 15 seconds to answer and write it down. We'll call on you. You show it to us. You say it. Uh, it's worth one point. Right? Right. Get them all right. You get a bonus question. Uh, three repeats. One uh, challenge for the whole game. Any questions? No. Okay. Uh, Jacoby, why don't you kick us off with question number one? Question number one. All right, gentlemen. In the category of animated, in Raya and the Last Dragon, what is the name of the malevolent force that turns people of Kumandra into stone? Oh, and Brian's a little glitchy already. Off to a off to a wonderful start in this match. Five, four, three, two. And one, pens down. Let's go to Nazario, what you got? This is the second time this week I'm gonna miss a riot question. Something like Groons. And Mark? All oh, right, this movie's available for questions. I said Medusa's eye, that turns things into stone. Both incorrect, the answer we're looking for is Droon, the Droon. Oh. And can anyone hear or see me, or am I frozen? No, you're good. You're back now. I'm back, okay. If I start glitching, let me know. We'll pause and I'll leave and come back. All right. Three, two, one, whatever. Uh, question two then comes to the category of musicals. Who plays Miss Hannigan in 2014's Annie? They shouldn't remake musicals. Well, I don't. 
I'm not going to say a blanket statement of they shouldn't remake musicals, but they should not have remade this musical. Or if they were going to, they should remade it like this. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. And I should have turned off my phone. Five, four, three, two, and one. <laughs> Let's start with Mark this time. Queen Latifah? And Nazario. Nope. Uh, the correct answer was Cameron Diaz. Cameron Diaz. Of course. Whoa. Way off. That classic actress. All right. Question number three in the category of 2000s. What is the name of the neighborhood the majority of gangs of New York takes place in? You ever been in a gang in New York, Brian? I haven't even been to New York. Mm. I, I take that back. I've been to New York State, not New York City. There aren't a whole lot of gangs in, like, you know, upstate New York. Though. Five, four, three, two, and one. Pants down. Let's go to Nazario. He said the five points. And Mark? Nashville has one, too. The five points. Both are correct. Both on the board. All right. You know, tied one to one. I'm a gang. I'll never uh, question four in the category of comic book movies. Who plays Valerian in Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets? Woof. Uh, I would like to quote the question doc that says, this is based on a comic book. Fight me. Oh, it is. <laughs> Unfortunately. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands down. Mark? Completely blanked on his name. And Nazario. Oh. He's oh, just frozen no. like that. That's the perfect frozen face. I was trying to figure out if he's playing or if he's <laughs> frozen, but he's really good at it if he That's, is. Somebody needs to screen grab this. <laughs> That's the perfect... It looks like he's already cut out and pasted in there. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. As Asa Butterfield. Thank you for getting it wrong. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> uh, it is Dane DeHaan. That's... Yeah. We, we were worried about if we could be able to accept the answer. And now it's the non-issue. Uh, All right. Uh, next one question. One of the, we're, we're back and we're ready to go. Uh, next question is in the category of romance movies. In Splash, where does the mermaid get her name Madison from? What would you name a mermaid, Brian? Uh... I, I I don't know. Um, I prefer to. I'm waiting to see a merman myself. Is that too much? Is that too much to ask? Five, four, three, two, two and one. <laughs> Pens down. Let's go to Nazario. From a street name. And Mark. Yeah, from Madison Street in New York. I think both are acceptable. All right, two to two. So in category six, in the category of drama, which is simply who directed A Time to Kill? <clears throat> uh, what is the best time to kill, Jacoby? I think uh, probably after lunch, before dinner. So it's like, you know, just not too heavy. It's like a light <laughs> meal, you know? Yeah, because everybody's looking for killers at night, you know? Yeah, exactly. the day, They don't expect it. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Mark down. Mark. I don't think so. I just said John Singleton. And Nazario. I'm wrong. I said Brian De Palma. Uh, Mark had the right initials. It is Joel Schumacher. Joel Schumacher. Right. Wow. Hmm. All right. Gentlemen, question number seven in the category of war. Black Hawk Down primarily takes place in which African country? I wish I could make a joke about this movie, but I remember nothing about it. Well, I hate when they give us these U.S. geography questions when there's a non-U.S. <laughs> player here. Five, four. Africa's in the U.S., three, right? Three, two. First repeat for Nazario. In the category of war, Black Hawk Down primarily takes place in which African country? That's Nazario's first repeat. Repeat. 
it's no banter the second time because it's serious. Yeah, yeah, we ran out of banter. We were lucky to get enough for the money. <laughs> Two. And one, pens down. Uh, Nazario? I remember the city is Mogadishu, but I don't remember the country. So I guess Somalia. And Mark? Yeah, I said Nigeria. Somalia is the correct answer. <sighs> Yeah. Uh, first read of the game. Nazario is up three to two, going into the last question in a round that has gone down without a perfect, without a glitch at all. Um, this man just going great. Uh, eight category eight, of course, is in plot summary. Uh, name the film from the plot. A Navy SEAL is assigned to protect the five children of a recently deceased government scientist whose top secret experiment remains hidden in the kids' home. Would you keep that? At home, I feel like there's better places. Well, I'm guessing he hit it not knowing he was going to die. Mm. But I, I'm, I'm choosing my words carefully because somehow I'm going to say the wrong thing and give it away. <laughs> Five, four, three, huh? four, two, <laughs> one. I almost saw it. Mark is down, Mark. Soldier? Nazario? The pacifier. The pacifier is correct. Oh God! I thought you were Vindy Slim himself. So the end of round theory. one, I have a score of Nazario four and Mark with two. Yeah. Is that what you have, Jacoby? I concur. All right. Uh, so then, of course, brings us to round two. Uh, Jacoby, would you like to give or summarize whatever the round two rules? Sure. Uh, in round two, the leading competitor will decide to go first or second. The plane going first will bet on either red or black. The wheel will be spun and will land on either category or a color. If a color is spun, the competitor with the corresponding color will choose a category for themselves or their opponent. If a category uh, is spun, the competitor can choose to take or respin. If they, will, they, if they respin, they'll have to stick with whatever category it lands on. Uh, from the category, the competitor will receive four questions worth two points each. Multiple choices available, reducing the point value to one, of course, but stealing is available in round two, so watch out. So many colors. Wrong wheel. Let's try this again. All right. Um, so Nazario, do you want to spin first or second? What, what about church's chicken? Do y'all have church's? <laughs> I, I had church's chicken, but a while back, and it closed really quickly. I like it, though. Uh, go first. Oh, okay. oh boy. <laughs> All right. I'm, okay. I'm sorry. Did I hear an answer from you guys? Do I go first or second? First. I think I go first. No. They're going first. Okay. Uh, I have free spun the wheel several times. Um, what color, color, what right? color would you like? Black or red? You like uh, black or red for blood? Um, I mean, it's on black now, so your chances of it landing on black again might be less. I don't know. Pick a color. Red? Yeah, red. Fuck. <laughs> Someone wants you to have red. <laughs> they really, really do. Okay, so you guys are red. Uh, here is your first one. But blood appears quite black in the moonlight, Will. Oh. Stone or comedy? So let's take that or spin again. I, I don't see a stone or comedy. Do it, Mr. Blockbuster. So you don't see him? Respin that. Let's see what happens. All right. Here's your spin. You're stuck with whoever this lands this time. Cool. We're going romance. Romance. All Romantic. right. Perfect. Okay. Stop sharing. All right. Uh, Jacoby, would you like to go ahead and give me some questions in romance? Yeah. All right. Nazario, are you ready? Eh. Great answer. Question number one in the category of romance. What is the profession of Richard Dreyfuss's character in The Goodbye Girl? I've never seen that. Multiple choice. Your multiple choice options are A, a writer, B, a musician, C, a salesman, D, an actor. Actor. That is correct for one point. He says with confidence. Super confidently. Question number two. Which romance film based on a Nicholas Sparks novel stars James Marsden and Michelle Monaghan? That's not the notebook. Multiple choice. Your multiple choice options are A, The Best of Me, B, Safe Haven, 
C, the longest ride. D, the choice. God dang. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> Repeat the options. Repeat the options. You get one free repeat of the options. Is it A, the best of me? B, safe haven? C, the longest ride? D, the choice? Safe haven. That is incorrect. Mark for the one point steal. Do I read the options again? Yeah, do I, do I read them again? No. I'm automatically. Yeah, your yeah. options are A, the best of me, B, safe haven, C, the longest ride, D, the choice. You know what? Let me get a full repeat of the question, please. All right. Mark using one of his repeats. So I can read this question again. Which ro <laughs> which romance film based on a Nicholas Sparks novel stars James Marsden and Michelle Monaghan? Is it A, The Best of Me, B, Safe Haven, C, The Longest Ride, D, The Choice? Uh, the Choice. That is incorrect. The mm. answer we were looking for is The Best of Me. It was between those oh. two. <laughs> All right, question number three in the category of romance for Nazario. Burt Lancaster's character, Milton Warden, has what rank in From Here to Eternity? You know, Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan make movies. <laughs> Romantic, even. Answer, repeat. Five, four. I mean, he's obviously three, a captain. Two. That is incorrect, Mark, for the two-point steal. Uh, Colonel. That is also incorrect. We were looking for a sergeant. Was Burt close. Lancaster was a sergeant in From Here to Eternity. You fools. All give, right. Give me, give me Thomas a second, please. What's up? I don't like McDonald's chicken, though. It's <laughs> kind of salty. I knew this was coming. <laughs> Burger, no, King's, we, Burger King's on point right now, though. Actually, we are. Actually, would you like chicken sandwiches? The of McDonald's chicken. We have the nuggets with the BTS thing, you know, the, the Korean band. They're not would good. you like to use your challenge to challenge McDonald's chicken? No. Okay. That's a fight you would lose because they're <laughs> powerful. All right, question number four. In the category of romance, who directed The Way We Were in 1995's Sabrina? Multiple choice. Your multiple choice options are A, Norman Jewison, B, Sidney Pollock, C, Mike Nichols, D, Peter Ware. Smells like Sidney Pollock. I don't know what Sidney Pollock smells like, but that is the correct answer for, for one like point. Right about now, he's not smelling yeah. very good. <laughs> <It's>, well, <laughs> <laughs> he didn't make it. Yeah. That brings this Nazario score up to six as we get into Mark's uh, second round. Oh, no. I have to try to bring up the wheel again. <laughs> All right. We're going to get it right. You. First time. We got this. You think? You can do you think? This. You, can, you can do this. Nope. Okay. Nope, I can't do it. I was too much of an optimist. <laughs> There's got to be a way for this thing to tell you which, which tab is which. Oh, you this put is names on the wheel, dude. Match. It comes up in the thingy. Name your wheels. It, it doesn't change the tab at the top, though. Yeah. But yeah, Burger King chicken sandwiches. I think that's like I got last time I was there. I think there we go. There we go. Those are pretty Locking great. All you want. All right. All right. So, Mark, it's now your turn. Here's your first spin. All right. Action adventure. Let me just, uh, you know, quick five real quick. What do you think, Ethan? <laughs> I mean, turquoise would look great on you. It's true. What do you think about the wheel, though? <laughs> look, stop giving him a hard time. He's been trying. He's trying. He's trying. I know. Wow. Ooh, Brian, you don't want to hear what he's saying. Uh, you know what? I'll uh, I'll, I'll go with it. Okay, so let's stick with it. And I can now delete that wheel and not worry about it ever again. All right. All right. So I will give you questions in action adventure. Uh, question one. In what year did the events of Escape from New York take place? Ooh. 
Ooh, I don't want to Brooklyn this, so multiple choice for safety. Uh, it wasn't in Brooklyn, but it was in New York. Uh, is, <laughs> is it A, 1997, B, 1999, C, 2005, or D, 2009? 97. <laughs> that is correct for one point. I have no idea what that is in the background. It's maximum overdrive come to life. <laughs> uh, question two. Who directed 1972's The Getaway? Oh, that's the wrong movie I'm thinking about. Multiple choice. Is it A, Peter Yates, B, Don Siegel, C, Brian De Palma, or D, Sam Peckinpah? May I hear the options one more time? Uh, yeah. Is it A, Peter Yates, B, Don Siegel, C, Brian De Palma, or D, Sam Peckinpah? Uh, Sam Peckinpah. That is correct for one point. God damn. Uh, question three. In 2000s, gone in 60 seconds, Memphis and his crew have to steal how many cars in order to save his brother's life? Oh, my God. This was just on AMC the other day, too. It's amazing how anyone's not seen it at this point. Uh, multiple choice. Is it A, 30, B, 40, C, 50, or D, 60? <laughs> Uh, 30 cars. That is incorrect. Nazario, for the one-point steal, is it A, 30, B, 40, C, 50, or D, 60? I mean, a number came to my mind, but I think it's the other one. 50. 50 is correct for a one-point steal. Mm. It was the other one. Yeah. And your final question, Mark, in Action Adventure. What is the name of the destination Furiosa wants to travel to in Mad Max Fury Road? The Green Place. That is correct for two points. Big two points right there. Brings us to the end of round two. What do you got for a score, Jacoby? I have Nazario seven, uh, Mark six. Bye, Bye, well. Hmm? All right, uh, that will bring us into round three, which, of course, is the deep cut round or whatever they're calling it these days. Um, your rules for round three, there will be one question worth two points and two questions worth four points each. There is no multiple choice, but there's also no stealing. Uh, you'll spin the wheel um, for each question. You do have one respin for the entire round, so choose wisely. Um, the, player answering, the player who is behind will start answering questions first. Once that person ties or pulls ahead, we'll go to the other person back and forth until there is a winner. Um, let's see. So with Mark being one point behind, we you will be answering your round three questions first. Let me bring up the only remaining wheel. If it's the other one, I'm going to be. Now it's, it's his time to shine. Now. I deleted the wrong one. Yeah, that's, that's probably what happened. Okay. Uh, Mark, for your two-point question, here is your first spin. Magic Mike. Uh, sure. We'll take it. Okay. Uh, since I gave Mark his questions in round two, why don't you take him in round three, Jacoby? Will do. Two point. Two pointer uh, for Magic Mike. Mark, your question is, who plays Joanna? Uh, oh, boy. That whole movie has now escaped my brain. Uh, Five, four, three, two. <laughs> Olivia Munn. <one. gasps> you got it. That is correct for two points. Are you? Oh. 
I'm, that wasn't a. I'm, he means I bit, totally knew that. Not a bit. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you have to head eight to eight to seven. Uh, so that's going to be Nazario's turn. We'll bring in your manager for you, and the wheel. Here's your first spin. I like Magic Mike. Two point question is taken, so we're going to spin again. Olivia Mun. <laughs> Uh -oh. Rear window, which I take that or use your respin. I mean, it's two points. Are you eating sandwiches? No, I didn't. Okay. I didn't get one. Yeah, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. Just keep it. Okay. okay. They're poultry sandwiches. Okay, your two point question in uh, the movie Rear Window: Who plays Lars Thorwald? Oh, Raymond Burr. That is correct for two points. Uh, nine to eight. So we go back to Mark for his first four point question. You're going to kick me out? Yep. Sure. <laughs> Ooh. Long shot. Hmm. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> uh, just for poops and giggles, I'll, I'll go ahead and use my respin. It's going to use his one respin. Okay, here goes. For poops and giggles, Brian. Yeah. So your first four-point question will come in the, in the movie Attack the Block. Sure. Sounds super excited for it. All right, just finding it on the dock. All right, Mark, you ready for your first four-point question? We'll see. All right, for four points, which member of the group grabs a samurai sword from their flats before they go out to fight the aliens? Oh, man, the kid with the, you know, if I give his uh, character name on the, the CW verse, does that count? Uh, <laughs> we'll have to discuss. Uh, I think it's Answer, okay, um, five, four, three, repeat the two. question. Mark using his second repeat for attack the block for four points. Which member of the group grabs a samurai sword from their flat before they go out to fight the aliens? I see him. Uh, I'm going to get this wrong. Still, this can, okay. Uh, Fez. That is incorrect. The answer we were, we were looking for is Dennis. It's Dennis, okay. All right, so Mark needs to hit this last question in order to throw it back to Nazario. Uh, he has already used his respins. You are stuck with whatever this wheel lands on right now. I see if fortune is kind on him. It hasn't been lately. But the Blues Brothers. Well, we'll see. The Blues Brothers, all right. All right, just scrolling down. Okay, Mark, you need this to stay in the game. For four points, what does Elwood do to the good old boys trailer before they enter the hotel for the big show? If I get this wrong, sorry, Dad. Uh, flattens their tires. And your winner, Nazario, Mr. DVD, Montenegro. Uh, the correct answer was they, they spray glue on the gas pedal. Oh, Single digits! Of course, that's what he does. Yeah. Uh, so that brings us to the end of the match. Nazario pointed out uh, with a score of 9 to 8. Uh, let's go to our post-match interviews, uh, starting with our unfortunate second place finisher, uh, Mark Kamar. Mark, tough loss. Um what are your feelings about the whole match? My feelings are at least uh, the both of us had just a whopping of a of a game <laughs> all together. So you know it's it is what it is. Uh, um, I'm not completely angry at the questions. I thought I was expecting the questions to be a lot worse than they were. I'm just mad that I forgot certain people's names 
And uh, and I know my father is out there screaming somewhere for not knowing a Blues brother question of, of any variety. Uh, it, it, this, it could have been a 10 pointer. And he's just like, if you don't get this, I, I'll disown you. But, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how he feels about that. Uh, big ups to Nazario. Um, he just I would just recommend that maybe don't mention a particular chicken place during Pride Month. That's all. That's all I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure you mentioned all the chicken places, so <laughs> what you can do about that. Uh, also, we will accept bribes to not air this episode to your father cannot find out about it, or to at least edit out that question. Um, he, send them he to always Jacoby. finds out. Yeah, my dad. I'll, 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 disp- I'll disperse him. He's newly married. He needs money. <laughs> uh, uh, anybody like yeah, to play in the future, Mark? Anybody like to try on? Anybody I mean, they always... Always- one thing I really love about this one, and I think even the last uh, Full Metal match I played, they're finally giving me opponents that I'm not playing all the time. It's not always the same usual suspect <laughs> of people, like like maybe that one. Um, those days are finally done, I think. We'll see. Uh, so I would like love to, to play... To announce Jacoby's return. To the <laughs> and I'm teaming with Nazario to face Mark again, so it's going to be great. <laughs> great. That's... <laughs> a bloodbath ensues. Uh... But uh, yeah, I'll just I'll play anybody. You know, I'm I'm never uh, gunning for specific people. It's not until like the day of the match that I really go like, you know, I really want to play this person now because they just they they have it coming. Uh, but we'll see. I'll 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 play anybody. Bring them on. All right, glad to hear it. Thanks, Mark. We'll see you again soon. Let's bring in our winner for tonight, Nazario. Uh, despite your internet working against you. Uh, despite uh, the world of fast food chicken working against you, you have pulled out the victory. Uh, how do you feel about the match? Thomas, you fucked up. <laughs> you brought in the chicken place that we should not mention in private. Uh, I mean, I forgot to say Bojangles, too. I mean, I didn't get chicken, but I did get some bacon. I mean, uh, it is, it is, I mean, it is delicious, even though they are indeed homophobic and racist. Uh, please tell your writers. That is not a sin to ask about popular movies. <laughs> also, um, Dane the Han, really? That guy, and there's like three more that all look the same. Other than that, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, I, I had to do the writing in this match. Um, the only thing I can say is whatever the skill level of the match, at least it's equally hard or easy for everybody. Um, so it made for a nice close match, even if it wasn't a you know a, a giant score, it was still fun to watch. It still went back and forth. Uh, came down, Mark had to answer all three of his questions, didn't quite pull it out. Uh, is there anybody you are looking to play next? I mean, I guess I'd like to play Jay Burns, but mm-hmm. I already beat Mark Meyer, so it'd be kind of like a prison jail thing, it's about the same. <laughs> It could be, but you could also use that match as your revenge. Or he could try to use it to avenge his partner, who you just defeated. Either way, storylines galore. We love storylines. Very storyline-driven here. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, well, all about that. Uh, but anyway, I uh, had a great time. Thomas, did you have any final words for your client? It was a lot of fun. See you guys in the next one. All right. Enjoy your bacon, Thomas. Thank you. Next Good time, shit. bring it up for everybody. Yeah. I got enough. Fun. He and did look like he had a huge, huge handful of bacon there. That was not a that, small That bag. was. You know, I will say I miss the single days where I would just cook up a pound of bacon and sit in front of the TV and eat it because now I'm pretty much not allowed to do that kind of thing. Um, but back on topic. Uh, yeah, this is this is fun. Like I said, uh, not a huge scoring match, but it stayed close the whole time. Um, went back and forth there at the end. Uh, how did you feel about it, Jacoby? That's yeah, I, I agree with you completely. That's what we you know want in these matches. Is even though not a high score of points, there was you know but kept the kept it close throughout the whole time, and every question kind of mattered there at the end there. Um, and Marcus didn't pull out the win today, but overall, both these competitors are great, and you know always fun to watch them play. Always fun to play. I'm very happy to have you back to help me co-host this, Jacoby. Thanks for coming back and slumming it with me. Uh, we hope to see you again more in the future. And hopefully more with Kirk and those people who, you know, actually work for Full Metal. So, uh, <laughs> but in the meantime, um, I enjoy being here with these guys. It's always fun. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.